Thank you for tuning in again. Guys, there's a bear there. Bear! Bear! There you go, bro. Look at this. We yeah. made it to overhanging point. <laughs> Look at this, how high we are. This is just absolutely incredible. Wow. Telephoto? So in that sequence, uh, remember we were swimming? Remember that rock? Yeah. That's exactly the rock we were swimming on right there. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I was talking to you. Oh, you were talking to me. I thought you were talking. I thought maybe you were like narrating for the camera. Yeah, no, look. See that rock right yeah. there? That's pretty awesome. And then right there is where everyone's hanging out. And then the grotto is what? Right here? Uh, no, it's around the corner there. It's around the corner, eh? It's pretty far away, though. I mean, we hiked. So we hiked all the way there, all the way up the shore, through all the boulders, next to Mar Lake, and came up this trail just right behind us here. Is there a view over there? Oh, well, we've been back from our hike for a couple hours now. We made some bergs. And now we're just relaxing and enjoying a nice cold bevy. And Alex is somewhere <laughs> over here. <laughs> uh oh, there he is. There's Alex. Well, good morning everybody. We wake up and we have a turkey visiting us. Mike, don't feed him. Yeah, just blueberries. Yeah, he is, eh? <clears throat> Which is dangerous, it's gonna get him killed. Well, this is what's on the menu today. Boiled eggs. Coffee brewing with the water from the eggs. And some oatmeal.
pretty bad campsite. It was out in the open. I uh, didn't really like it at all. So that area, I can't remember the name. I'll, just, I'll pop it up right here. Uh, but yeah, that area is not very good. And we had to move the next morning. We went to our new campsite, which I thought was pretty awesome. 276. That was a good site. There were lots of privacy. So I really highly suggest booking that site if you're going to book it. Uh, didn't really get a chance to see any other too many campsites. But I mean, all of them along the road, you can always see that there's no privacy. So that site was really good. We stayed there for two nights. And then we went and did the grotto. And we also did uh, the Emmett Lake turnoff. And we went down to the log dump road. Between the grotto and the log dump road, my favorite was the log dump. Uh, it wasn't so busy, although it was really busy, but it wasn't as busy as the grotto. The grotto was just hundreds of people, just everywhere. I mean, walking down the trail, you didn't even have any privacy. It was just a big lineup of people, which is just crazy. And it's during the week now. I think it was Monday. So it was just really busy. Uh, did the grotto, did the climbs, did some swimming, went through some caves. Uh, you'll see my movies. So all the movies that I make on this journey, I'm going to post them in the description here. Um, the log dump was awesome. That was really cool. If you go towards, uh, when you get down to the end, you have you go to the beach, you go to the right, which is the high dump, or you go to the left, which is the um, storm haven. That's a cool trail up and down. And when you get down to the bottom of the beach, uh, in the one section, if you watch the movie, you'll see exactly where we are. It's a really awesome cave. I mean, it's just amazing. You got the whole roof, you got the big pillars. It almost looks like it's man-made. But it was absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, you'll be able to see all of that movie. And we went swimming through all the little caves and crevices and boulders. We climbed the rocks and we climbed the cliffs and we jumped off them. Uh, you gotta watch that one, because that one is really, really cool. So, all in all, that was my favorite part. The worst, obviously, was our first night campsite here in Cyprus because that site was really bad and just sucked. No privacy at all. That was my absolute worst. Um, we also did Singing Sands, which is Dorcas Bay. Uh, I video documented that as well, so I'll have a link in the description for that movie. Singing Sands was a nice long beach. It's a little bit slimy just because uh, um, it's not, I mean, it is sandy, but they kind of let the grass grow over and uh, I guess between I don't know if there's any a little bit of tide or whatever but it's kind of anyways you have to see you'll see the video but yeah it's a ni really nice beach you can walk out there for freaking like a kilometer and you're gonna be like waist deep so it's really really good for kids that beach because they can go out there and have fun and not worry about the dangers and you're not gonna get the big waves or uh, rip tides or anything like that so that was nice Dunks Bay, you'll see that. I have that on camera as well. Again, the link's going to be in the description, so if you want to see what that looks like. Dunks Bay is a neat little beach. Uh, it's very small because right next on each side, it's all private. So you have Cottage Cottage, and you only have like a strip of like 100 feet or so of beach. But the beach is absolutely beautiful. It's, it's super nice. If you can catch it where there's not too many people, then it's a great place. I remember when I used to come here, you know, 10 seven years ago or so uh, there wasn't as many people and we'd go to that beach and we'd be the only ones there but not anymore it's just jam-packed with people people everywhere 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 uh, I think Tobemore is a great place if you're gonna come visit what I don't like about it is that it's commercialized now and there's just people everywhere and they charge you for everything it's just a tourist trap so if you're looking to come out here and not spend much money and just do a camping trip and kind of stay chill uh, you're going to spend money here. Everything costs money. Parking. I mean, I thought it was even brutal at Cypress Lake where when you're leaving the next morning is done at 11, you still got to pay for a day pass. Where uh, as provincial parks, you can stay up until like 8 or 9 o'clock that at night that day. But no, you got to actually go buy a permit, which is brutal. Singing Sands, you got to buy a permit. Uh, Log Dump Road, you got to buy a permit. Uh, everything you got to buy permits for. Uh, aside from that, I think it's a great place, great get out, great place for family, great place for couples. Uh, so watch all my movies, guys, uh, and I'm going to place them all in the description here so you'll get a good idea of uh, what your trip could be like and where you can go and different things that you can see. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you watch my other movies, and I would really appreciate some comments and likes if you like what I'm doing here. 
So thank you again, and everybody, get out there and have fun.